Hey guys, Josh here. How's everybody doing? Happy Saturday. Today's Saturday, the best day of the week because it's Story of Seasons Saturday and we are going to be playing Doraemon Story of Seasons Friends of the Great Kingdom, the game with a very long title, but it is it is very fun. It is very fun. One of my favorite Story of Seasons game on the Switch and even better than the first Doraemon game. So, yes, yeah, a lot of fun. So we are going to be playing that. But first, I hope you guys are doing well, no matter if you're watching on Twitch or on YouTube. On Twitch, we've got Squid Invisible, Dragon Fairy, and Migi. I hope you guys are doing good. And on YouTube, we've got Anna, best Doraemon game. Honestly, it's so good. Lisa, nice to see you. Peppermints. Nervous to show you my farm during the farm tour, <laughs> but it wouldn't hurt to show it. Don't be nervous. Yeah, so if you guys don't know in this game, you can visit other people's farm. Well, not really visit, but you can see their farm. Um, so if anyone wants to show me their farm, let me know and I can check those out. Uh, I want to see Peppermint's farm too. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm sure it's going to be great. Connor says, this is my favorite game. Honestly, it's so good. Separation, Joseph, Pika, Ray. I hope everybody's doing amazing. And yeah, let's start. Let's start. Up. Oh, how's the music? How's the music? I think it's probably louder on the title screen. Um, 20 hours, 20, 23 hours, 29 minutes. Let's go with that. Joy, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. My personal favorite Star Wars season games of all of them. I can see that. It's, I don't think, I think I still like Magical Melody more, but this one, it's definitely up there. It's definitely a very good one. Mercedes, good morning. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, the main menu is slightly loud. Yeah, let's see if the music is better. I did some testing, but yeah, let's check if the main game. What's the premise of this game? Well, it's a Star Wars season game, so it's pretty like kind of standard, but it's it takes place in the world of Doraemon with Doraemon characters, uh, which is a very popular like Japanese anime, and. Yeah, so the, it's a little bit more story focused and you have to make uh, friends to like progress in the story. But the main gameplay is pretty like standard story of seasons. Yeah, and it's on the Switch and on PC. Good morning, Christine. I hope you're doing good. I've had trouble with the game. Oh no, if you have any questions, ask us. I'm sure there's Peppermints who played it a lot. There's me who's played it quite a bit. Um, I'm sure we'll have will be able to help you. This is a really solid farm sim that excels with its story and character relationship. Yeah, I found the characters really interesting in this game, uh, in this one. All right, so I will say, is the music fine? It's been a little while since I played this. So I think I'm just gonna go home and sleep. Oh no, it's early. I'm, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make sure I took care of my animals and my crops and everything. Gotta make sure I don't neglect my farm. And it's one of the most beautiful games too. It has this beautiful like watercolor. It looks like the whole game is like just a giant painting. And it's so beautiful. That's... Yeah, the map is pretty big too. For like a Star Wars Seasons game. In terms of like Star Wars Seasons, it is a pretty big... Pretty big world. It's not too big. But you can definitely get lost a little bit at the beginning when you're learning. Be out. It is a cute outfit. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Also, I have this gadget that allows me to be like super, super fast. <laughs> it takes a little while to unlock, but it makes you so fast. Uh, so it's useful since now the world is a little bit big. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let me brush. Brush, brush, brush. And I think I have some seeds that I can plant. The amount of detail in the environment, I know it's so nice. It is so nice. And also in this game, you can have a friend following you. You cannot get married or anything like that, but you have your friends, which are your roommates as well. And they're gonna help you, like if you're watering the crops and stuff like that. Uh, let me just check the corn. Does it grow in autumn? No, it's just summer, so I'm not gonna plant that. Uh, is that ready for harvest? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Oops. Didn't mean to kill that melon. Is there a decor system? Yes, you can decorate your farm, your field in this game. Um, Miggy resubbed for one month. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Two months sub anniversary. How's your Twitch experience so far? It's doing good. I'm just gonna answer the other question about the decor first. Uh, so I don't forget about it. Yeah, you can decorate in this game. I can show you quickly. But pretty much this whole field, you can even move, like, the trees and stuff around. Uh, <laughs> why did you say anniversary? Yeah, right? <laughs> Two months sub anniversary. Well, it is an anniversary, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you can... Uh, oh, yeah. Use the slider stick. And you can move stuff, even, like, the trees and your crops, which is one thing that annoys me in a lot of farming games. Like, I'm so scared of planting trees and, like, having to move them in the future. So in this game, well, that's not a problem. I don't even know why these ones are not. Let me fix that. And there's also... I've not started decorating too, too much, actually. But yeah, you can decorate. Uh, you've got furniture. Like, I've got a few wooden paths. Um, there's really a lot of different, you've got like seashell furniture, you've got like stone, you've got flowers, you get, there's so many different themes and stuff. So it's really good for decorating actually this game. Um, but yeah, I've just not done a lot of it yet. I'll, I'll do it a little bit later, like later during my playthrough. As for my Twitch um, anniversary, it's doing good, my Twitch anniversary, my Twitch Twitch journey so far is doing good. It's It's been fun. Mm, yeah, I love how Twitch has so many so many features that YouTube doesn't have. I just feel like a lot... I noticed that to get viewerships... I feel like on YouTube, as long as I stream a game that I'm interested in and my audience is interested in, my stream will be fine. It will do will do well. But I find on Twitch, like what game you play has more of an importance. Um, like for example, this game, like <laughs> no one is streaming it on Twitch. If you if you stream a game that no one is no one else is like streaming or watching, it doesn't do really well. Whereas on YouTube, it doesn't matter as much with which game you play. I mean, it does matter, but not as much. So I find that's the biggest um, thing that makes Twitch difficult. So I feel like a lot of people that are streaming on Twitch, they always like play the popular game, right? The wh whatever game is like more popular at the moment. Whereas on YouTube, yeah, it doesn't matter. I really like the music in this game. Yeah, it is very relaxing. It is very nice music. Yeah, and it pauses time when you decorate. So that that is nice. So you don't have to you don't have to rush or like neglect. Like when in Olive Town when I was decorating my farm, I didn't take care of my crops, I didn't take care of my animals, I was just decorating. Because time was passing and I wanted to decorate. Like in this game, you're not gonna neglect your other stuff because you're 
You want to decorate? Jill, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. There's one area he's scared to go to and I don't know why or how to fix it. Ooh, I don't remember. I see you already have max stamina. Yeah, I bought all the... Is that the max already? Yeah, 150. Can you have more? But yeah, you can buy the medicine from the doctor. It does get a bit expensive, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Twitch, I think, is more on the what's trending. Exactly. So, like, a lot of people on Twitch now played all the, like... A lot of games, you know, like, Lethal Company. And, like, now there's another one called, like, Content Warning. I see a lot of people, like, playing these games on Twitch. They do really well, but... I don't really play those kind of games too much. Or, like, Among Us, like, when it was popular, like, a year ago or two years ago, whatever. Uh, ooh, good afternoon from Edinburgh. Hope Josh and chat are well. This game looks super cute. It is really cute, Floofy. Your name is cute too, Floofy. Floofy TV. <laughs> that sounds so cute. Um, so we had Peppermints who wanted me to show... Who wanted me to see their farms. Their farm. Singular. Um, so let's check. Is it here? No, it's not here. It's been a while. I think it's on the Bolton board, right? I love watching your streams on both platforms. I got 18,000 channel points now. Oh my gosh, you had 16,000. So you got like <clears throat> 2,000 points per stream. Almost. Yeah, I'm going to have to give you something to spend your channel <laughs> points on. I know I keep saying that, but... Uh, I have so many, so many things to do. The next thing I want to do, though, the next thing I'm working on... I want to launch our... Minecraft server. I'm doing a Minecraft server for the channel members and Twitch subs. And I was supposed to do it last month, but I've been so busy with like so many things. But that's that's my next my next goal. Uh, how, wait, how do you visit someone's farm? I forgot. You won't be able to access through that area till you befriend one of the NPCs after the second house. Oh, sorry, you're talking uh, the explaining to Christine. Thank you so much for helping her. Oh, the farm visit board. Yes. Did I do something wrong? Oh, are these my friends? Are we already there? My farm should be the uh, April 13. I mean, there's a lot. Oh, that's you, right? This one? Hiding? Oh. So that's efficient. <laughs> I... <laughs> I forgot you don't like decorating. I was, I was, I was wanting to see something cute, but it is the oh you got a big house. It is definitely efficient, and so we've got the crops. No giant crops and trees, orange, cherries, just orange and cherries, and two other little things, bamboo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Fortunately, in this game, you can have your friend to help you harvesting, right? Because that would take a long time to harvest. And I think you've got everything. Big barn, big coop, big shed, big big everything. Yeah. What's that empty... What's that little empty spot, right? I'm not sure what that is. It's all seasonal trees. Oh my gosh, so you chop the trees every month? You cut the trees every month to... Oh, that's so much work. The dedication. This is Belle's spot. Oh, who's Belle? Very nice farm efficiency can be great. Yes. I want to say cute. Good job, though. That's a lot. That's a very efficient farm. Okay, not much going on here. Ensign, HK, Hong Kong. Oh, not much going on here. Doraemon. Bell and Oliver. Oh, the carpenter. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's been so long since I played. Ooh. We've got the big inflatables here. <coughs> Sorry, trees. 
big house. Cute, but there's still still some work to do here. And there's lots of farms that are like kind of not completed, right? Will Mario. Is this game still on sale for the Switch? I think it's 60% off. Ooh, that would be worth it. Ooh, I like the, I like what I see here. Uh, you got little pens. I don't think the animals... Do they push their animals in there every day? Or maybe they just leave them outside. Like one little pen for each animal? That's interesting. Yeah. Pushing your animals is not too hard. Like, there's some Star Wars in the game where it's really hard to... Oh, what's that little thing here? That little carpet? That little... Yeah. Um, yeah, pushing your animals is not too too hard in this game. I love this g nice farm. You can live a nice little thumbs up. Uh, I forgot to do that for peppermints. Let me, uh, let me do it. I love these little pads. This is nice. I love this. Bamboo trees, fruits. Oh, what's these orange trees? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Will Mario. I don't know if it's one of you. I don't know who these people... I don't know. Are these just my friends? I'm not sure if these are just my friends or... Where that list of people is coming from. I kind of forgot. But it is nice. Since I have all max upgrades and utilize the entire field to its highest efficiency. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, you got 58. Nice farm count. Now I just... I just give you one more. CM96. It's random whoever showed first. But how did you show up on mine though? Right? Are we friends? Uh, Mickey. That's one thing I don't like is pushing the animals in and out. Would prefer a bell to ring. Wait, isn't there a bell though? Isn't there a way to... Hey. Uh, I'm right. One thing I like about this game is that you've got a to-do list. Uh, now I need to be friends with people to progress the main story. Uh, give Luana a sandwich. Should I? Should I give her a sandwich? Uh, let's see if I can make one. Let, let's go home. Let's go home. And maybe we can change our outfit. There's lots of outfits in this game. By the way, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a like on the stream. Let's try to get to 100 likes. That's a free, free way to help. Completely free. And yeah. Uh, you don't have to push animals after level 3. It's mainly because I updated farm and date. Oh, I see. So is it like all the players, I guess? It, it doesn't take from your friends this. Is, it just takes from like all the players. Like, um, Alright, what should I do? What should I do? do, do, do. Um, oh yeah, I want to change my outfit. I want to check the different outfits. Oh my gosh, Doraemon with his little alpaca. <laughs> so cute. You are so cute. Okay. Uh, we can change here. And you can change for the other characters too. This is for the first game, right? The outfit of the first game. From the first game. Oh, there's a little horse. You know what? I think the honeybee... I think the honeybee is the cutest one. Alpaca, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna give her the sheep costume. I think this will be the next game I get. Honestly, it's so good. Such a good underrated game too. It is, I feel like not, a, not enough people talk about this game, but it's such a good, such a good Star of Seasons. And I, I love, honestly, having your friend helping you and, like, following you around is so much fun. 
Should we go my Oh yeah, I need to make a sandwich. Sandwich. Make from recipe. This game is criminally underwritten. It is. That is a crime. You guys, you have to play. If you've not played it, you have to. Even if you don't know. Honestly, even if you don't know about Doraemon or you don't care about Doraemon. Like, just pretend it's not a spin. Like, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I need. I think I need to buy the sandwich recipe. Like, no matter your relationship with Doraemon, like, you will enjoy it. Good morning. Oh, yeah, this is Belle. I should talk to Pip. That's He's my favorite companion, actually. The little robot. So I'm gonna have him follow me. He's so cute. Oh, you can make it freestyle? Yeah, but I don't know the recipe in my brain. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> If you, if you look it up online or something, or if you know you, you can do it, but I, I don't know it, so I need to buy the recipe. So if I go to the restaurant... This seems like there's more to it than what they put in Pioneers of Alifton, or is it just me? There's a lot, like... Yes, I... There is more than in Alifton, yeah, I would say. There's more, there's more charm than Olive Town too, like the graphics and the story is more interesting. Uh, sandwich. Oh, wait, it's not here. Where, where can I buy the sandwich recipe? I don't know, I'm gonna buy a chocolate cookie recipe. It won't be unlocked yet. Oh, well, let's do another quest. Let's do a, a different quest then. Uh, get closer. Uh, give Luna a gadget to fight fatigue. I don't have that. Get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. I need to be friends. Silver Pearl. Oh, go to the wood woods, uh, wet woods at night. So we're going to do that. Tonight we can go that. Go that. Do that. But yeah, now I just need to be closer to everybody. So I'm just going to talk. Just going to talk to everyone. And maybe we can go mining. And tonight we're going to go to the wet woods for, for the quest. Can I buy cookware? Nope. So it is really important in this game to talk with everybody. Because as you can see, most quests will require you to have like friendship. Like pretty much every household is going to have their own quest line. And then you'll need to be friends to like progress in that quest line. So it's really important. It's one of those games where you really have to befriend everybody. I love how the food always looks tasty, right? Even the things that I probably wouldn't eat, like any shellfish based thing. Honestly, the, yeah, the food does look good. Oh, let me see if I can upgrade any two. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have the money. I just need to get. Get more ores. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go mining. With our friend Pip. The music is really good too in this game. The whole atmosphere, music, graphics. Music, graphics. I'd love to have like... They should make like posters of this game. Like I want to have like a framed poster of this game or something. It's just, it's just so nice. So beautiful. My recipe list is super long, but I found the sandwich. Oh, cucumber, tomato, egg, mayonnaise, bread. Oh. I would need to grow cucumbers and tomatoes. Mm. This looks so nice here. I love the different camera angle.
I'm so used to their Japanese names. Snitch and Suzy still odd to me. They always be Sune when she's a me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they all, <laughs> they all change their names. Even though in the English version of the anime, I think they still have their Japanese name. They, yeah. It's kind of funny how they changed them. Except for Doraemon. And Nobi. I think Nobi. He's like Nobita Nobi, right? So I think Nobi is the same. I've never watched Doraemon, actually. But yeah, all of the other, like, friends, they all changed their names. Doraemon, how are you? All right, let's go mining. So yeah, as you can see, my friend's helping me now. So that makes mining a lot of fun. So they pick up items for you. And yeah, it makes it like twice as fast to find the ladder and everything, right? Not the ladder, but, but the rope. So it is so fun. I want to see more. I want to see a mainline Star of Seasons game do that. Or you have a little companion. Uh, in the first game, mining was kind of tedious, but now it's so much, so much more fun, kind of faster. This game improves everything upon the first. Like, there's two Doraemon Star of Seasons games. There's Doraemon Star of Seasons and then this one. Um, this one is, like, better in every single way, basically. So unless you absolutely want to play both. Like, the first one, the first one is very grindy. And I do love, like, some grinding, but it was a little bit much in the first game. But this one is much faster. Definitely like me when it comes to getting things done alone, but now everything can be... But not everything can be done alone. Oh, so you never use the companions? I mean, I like... They're, they don't get in your way or anything, right? They just help you, so... And there's also local co-op, so you can have... If you have a second controller... There's no online co-op, but just local. You can have the other player control the companion. Um, I think it's just gonna be Doraemon though. Um, but it's a little bit more restrictive. Like they can't do, they can't like open the inventory or do complicated, more of the complex stuff and they have to like follow you around all the time. I forgot. Yeah, I can charge. Uh, I'm getting tired. Did I get any iron? Yes, I did. Um, I don't have any snacks. Uh, but let's go see if I have enough. Maybe I can upgrade one of the tools now. Uh, when you get metal scraps, make sure to keep them for way later. Yes, I do keep them. Um, I think it's with the... Maybe... I don't... I, I forgot about them. If you go see the sprite, the whatever sprite thingy, right? I remember saves coming in the mines for the first game. I wonder if you can do that for the... I think you can too. But I feel like it's not as worth it. Because, I mean... Because mining is faster in this one. Oh, yeah, we gotta go to Wet Woods, too. Okay, let me just check if I can upgrade. Oh, uh, I... yeah, he's finished working. Uh, but maybe tomorrow I can check if I can upgrade a tool. Uh, do you know how to unlock the wooded area on the right of the map? Oh, let me check. 
on the right side of the map to third third point. I don't know, isn't it unlocked from the beginning? Oh, you mean on the left of the map? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I forgot. It's been a while. It's been so long since I played. I don't remember, like, all the little details. Maybe Peppermint knows. I think he knows everything. Maybe he knows... Yeah, like, like I played I played this game a lot when it first came out, but it's been a while. I think we're gonna get a cutscene now. Oh, we need to befriend Leaf. Leaf is cute. Hi there, newbie. Uh what are you doing in the woods this late? You should head back before you get lost. I'm fine. I was just looking for the fount. What's a fount? And wandered off the usual path. Hmm. Well, that doesn't ease my mind at all. It's late, so we should be getting back. I'll walk you to the house. Yay, and thanks, Leaf. Here we are, although I'm heading back for a walk through the woods. Huh? You're not coming in? Everyone should be home so we can all kick back and take it easy. That's all right. I would rather be by myself and observe the plants for a little while. Okay, I guess. Uh, say, do you like it better when you're by yourself? Don't you ever get lonely on your travels? Uh, not at all. To travel is to be free. I left my mother to be on my own, and I have no plans to live with anyone else either. Not even us? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Do you dislike the idea of living with us? Not at all. Why would you ask that? I just thought maybe you were just being considerate when I asked you to stay with us. That goes for the time I invited you to the fairy fount as well. Sorry if I forced you into it. Don't worry. Life on the farm has been most pleasant, and I shall cherish my memories of the picnic in spring. Really? Of course. That's a relief. Didn't know you were back, Nubi. I was just saying you might be lost in the woods again like last time. You can forget that ever happened, and I'm back in one piece today, as you can see. This feels different. Spending time with Nubi and the other uh, and the others has been oddly refreshing. <laughs> Up until now, I've always felt more comfortable being by myself, but... <laughs> Leave. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we made dinner and thought maybe you'd like to join the rest of us. <laughs> I know you said you were heading back into the woods, I, but I thought I would ask anyway. <laughs> you don't have to or anything. We'll get some grub aside for you in case you're hungry later. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the house now. Thanks for walking me home. Thank you, Leaf. Nubi. I'll come eat with you and the rest. Aw, it might not be a bad idea to spend some time with you and the others. Really? Woohoo! Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Okay, let's have a meal together. Also, in this game, every night you can have a meal with the group and, like, you're gonna get some stamina. And it's free. There's Harvest Sprites in Friends of the Great Kingdom. I think I just saw some. Yeah, they are. We, we're going to see them tomorrow. I kind of forgot what they do. I kind of forgot what your friends, uh, what those sprites do. See, I have one heart. I'm going to get some more stamina. And yeah, the cutscenes are really cute. I have 295 hours in Friends. This game, the only thing I don't like about this game is the title is so long. That I'm on Seraph Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom. So, it'll make 295 hours. That is a lot. On one save file. And yeah, you're all right. There's not, not a lot of guides on this. See, I got one heart. But yeah, I like it that in this game you live with your friends. It makes it it's lively, you know. Uh, how does this game work without marriage and romance? Yeah, there's no marriage and romance, but yeah, as you can see, you're living with your friends, so you eat with them, and you have you can choose one of them to like follow you around and help you with your chores. So it doesn't feel lonely, right? Even though there's no romance. 
I feel like they do it better. They make living with your friends better than a lot of farming games. So it is really nice. The, me the social mechanics are really cute. Um, and these clouds have sprinklers, so there's not too much to water. See, as you can see, he's watering. He's watering with me. All right, so that's done. We're, the end, we're approaching the end of the season, so that's why I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of crops. See, I can take care of my animals, and he's watering the, the grass. Oh, this one is ready. Ready for harvesting. <laughs> There's a lot of farmer games with no romance that works. One of them is Innocent Life. Love that game so much. Yeah, I need to... I want to stream Innocent Life. I want to play it here. Oh, I think I just figured a cutscene. I think I just increased my friendship with her and... Uh, newbie, Sue. Oh, <laughs> the trees were blocking the little penguins. I couldn't see them. Hi, Ori and Luana too. Did you come all the way here together? And Luana too. Did you come all the way here to get... Wait. Didn't you just say that? Uh, yes, I ran into him, and since he said he had business with us here. Wow, and to think she used to hate hanging out, uh, hanging around with anyone if it meant time away from her research. That must mean they're getting along. What are you two whispering about? What was it you needed, Ori? Ori's so cute. He's the cutest. Unfortunately, you guys can't see him right now, but he's so cute. Oh yeah, I wanted to thank you for helping me catch the big kahuna the other day. Thank us? We just wanted to help. It's no big deal. Nah, my mom said I should do something for you in return and I won't take no for an answer. So I had this great idea. I decided I'm gonna show you all my special secret spot. Ooh. A secret spot? What kind of spot? Uh, it's so secret, no one knows it but me. Um, it's in the ocean, so it's full of coral and fish. I think... There's underwater. Yeah, did you say it's in the ocean as an underwater? Yeah, just a short swim from the shore. I'm out. I'm a terrible swimmer. You wouldn't catch me wading in the water. Forget under it. Uh, besides, Sue and Nubi can't stay in the water as long as us ISFs. Wouldn't it be difficult for these two to come along? I know you've put a lot of thought into this, but... What? No way. Is that true? <laughs> Nubi, Sue? Well... I think we'll need a gadget for that. Ah, oh, I know. Let's use the adapting ray. Good idea. Would be fine if we had that. The adapting ray is a gadget Doraemon showed me earlier. I suppose even I could go if we were to use that thing. You sure could. Let's hurry and go ask Doraemon for it. This will let us come to uh, your secret spot. All right. The adapting ray, if we had that, then everyone could go. Yes, please show us the way. Uh, Luana, will you come with us? Sure, I guess I will. Yay. The adapting ray. Wow, so this will allow everyone to go in the water. Yep, you'll be able to remain underwater as if you were on land. Thank you, Doraemon. Uh, hey, why don't you come with us too? Really, can I? Woo! Uh, okay, it's time to give you all a dose of the beam. Ho hold on, how long will the effects last? They last for 24 hours, so a day trip shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we should be fine then. Okay, Doraemon, hit us. Is this a new game? No, it came out last... or two years ago? Maybe two years ago, 2022 maybe? Um, mm, I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Should we try getting into the water? <laughs> yep, lead the way, Ori. Maybe 2023. Oh, two years ago, yeah. 
I never knew much about Doraemon before playing this game, but I can definitely see the appeal. Honestly, even if you don't like Doraemon, it's it's a good game. But yeah, I'm curious. I've never watched any Doraemon stuff. Ooh, this is it. We're here. So we're probably going to be able to get new... I know I needed pearls for quests. Maybe we'll get that here. This place is so pretty. It's stunning. It almost feels like time just stopped running here. That's probably not comfortable with her alpaca. <laughs> with her sheep outfit and like Doraemon's alpaca outfit. This place is something else. Uh, Luana is something the matter. You will need it for Doraemon with a silver. Exactly, yeah, need a silver pearl. It's, yes. It's amazing. It looks like some sort of ancient site. Who would have thought something like this was here all this time? Well, maybe if you went into the water more often and were friends with Ori. Yes, yes, I know, but it's still frustrating. How did I never notice it before? I'm glad you like it so much. There's something even better up ahead. But there's something even better up ahead. What? Did he, did he, I feel like he's repeating a lot, right? Uh, better than this? Uh, this way. Look over there. Ooh, got a shipwreck. Oh my, what an enormous ship. I like the music here. This looks possibly uh, positively ancient. Uh, Ori, have you ever been inside? I only took a little peek. It's so dark and scary in there. I see. Then would you all mind if I took a few minutes to look around? You got it. In the meantime, why don't you keep showing us around, Ori? Sure thing. There's this huge shell over that way. Come on, I'll show you. Uh, would you accompany me for a bit, uh, Doraemon? I'd like to ask your opinion on a few things. Huh? Me? Sure, I guess. Uh, Luana, Doraemon, did you find anything? Uh, there's a lot to take in, but I do have some early observations. First off, this isn't the ship for sailing the seas. It's actually a spaceship, believe it or not. Did you see a spaceship? A wooden spaceship? I don't have any equipment to examine the ship's interior, but the XR uses a highly heat-resistant material. The spaceship we arrived in was almost built to resist... was also built to resist high temperatures. Why is that? When a spacecraft leaves the planet's atmosphere to go in, out into space, it gets extremely hot. There's no air or clouds in space, so it gets really hot or really cold, depending on if the sun is visible. In order to keep everyone inside safe, spacecrafts need to be able to bear both high and low temperatures. Wow, that's fascinating. Uh, as for this place, while I can't be entirely certain, my best guess is that it was a landing site of sorts. Furthermore, based on what I'm seeing, I would estimate this ship has been here since before even the demon's breath. <laughs> I remember this game is so expensive. Is it expensive? It's positively ancient, and yet it's been preserved in such pristine condition all these years. I'd like to initiate a full-scale study right away. Ari, you don't mind if I come down here, do you? Of course not. I'm okay with that if it's uh, you, Luana. Well, thanks. And Doraemon, would you allow me to use your adapting ray from time to time? Of course. Things sure are getting interesting. Now, uh, okay, I'm going to head back right away and start preparing for research. So as you can see, it's definitely more of like story-driven kind of game. But I, I find it interesting though. I find the dialogues fun. Luana looked so happy. I think she liked my secret spot. You bet she did. Thanks for showing it to us. Hee <laughs> hee. Nobody, you, uh, nobody, sorry. Nobody, you can come back anytime you like to. Yes, I will. I want to explore. I want to walk around underwater, see, actually see stuff. Do stuff. Okay, here we are. Oh, I got a little achievement. Yeah, the music is nice here.
Okay, there's not that many items. I thought I would get like lots of like seashells and stuff, but there's not that much. So now I can just go here and I'll be able to go at any time. Oh, there's one hidden foraging item down below that's unseeable with a naked eye. Go back. Oh, let's go back. Where is it? It's almost two times compared to other farming games. But it goes on sale pretty often. I think it's worth it though. Like, there's so much content, so much to do. Oh, well, there's that. Oh, it's not there. It's not invisible to the naked eye, though. If, if, you, if you could see, it's not there. All right, so let's go. So we did that. Uh, oh, yeah, let me go see if I can upgrade one of my tools since I got a little bit of iron yesterday. I had to figure that out the hard way the first time. Oh, I see. Yeah, so let's go check the blacksmith. Oh, yeah, I got a little other. Hey, everyone, I can't stay in at work. I'm at work, uh, but wanted to say have a great stream. Tiny Tetra, thank you so much. I hope you're having a good day at work. I wonder why Star Wars Seasons have a lot of franchise. Like, why not make an update? Yeah. Honestly, I like I like that they have lots of different games. Rather than just like continuously updating the same one. And like they've they've always been doing that even before like games could be updated, right? I don't know. I'd like I like that they have lots of different games and they all feel like even though there's lots of Star Wars Seasons games, they're all a little bit different, right? Whereas if you if they just had like one game that they would be updating. I don't know. Like they're all a little bit there. If they were doing the same game over like every year. Then I would understand. But I feel like they're all different enough. Sometimes I'm confused what is the difference and which one is suited for me. Yeah, it can be hard to choose. It can be hard to choose which one could be the best for you. All right, let's see if we can buy. Oh, he's not here. Uh, let me see the schedule. Can you see the schedule from the map? Oops. I didn't mean to call my dog. Oh, registered a new the last ship kind of. Oh, yeah. Uh, close on Tuesdays. Otherwise, it opens up. Okay, yeah. Let's just wait until 10. I'm excited for the new ones coming. Yeah, there's two Star Citizen games that have been announced that we don't know. We don't know much about. But hopefully we'll hopefully we'll know more later this year. I've been playing this for the past few weeks. It's so fun. It is. Oh yeah, there's a sign. Oh yeah, you can see the schedule here as well. That's true. Oh, there's something. Uh, oh no, never mind. Never mind. This game is very underrated. It is. Oh, by the way, one thing I forget. You can take a nap in this game. So you don't, have, you don't have to just wait around. You can just take a little nap. Uh, you're, you know you're working at 10, right? Oh, no, that's the wrong guy. Never mind. Okay. He, this one is here. Okay. All right. Upgrade tool. I could upgrade my hammer, my sight. I don't have these red crystals for the golden tools. Let's upgrade our hammer. Yes. Uh, 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then I can go mining again and then maybe we can upgrade more stuff. But you can buy ores from him too, but then it's kind of a little bit expensive. I mean, it's not too bad. It's kind of easy to make money in this game. Fishing. You can just fish and make a bunch of money. Those gold ores won't spawn till the fourth floor. Yeah, I'm not worried with the gold ores. It's the red crystals that I don't have. Alright, so now I've got... I have all the silver tools. And it's instant, so you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Like a few days. Oh, the ruby spawned at the fifth floor. Yeah, let's go mining. I don't know if I ever got ruby. So let's try. Let's try that today. I love those silver tools. They look so clean. I love that whole aspect of instant upgrades for me personally. It is kind of useful, but I do also like, like in Stardew Valley or like in the older Star Wars Citizens games, having to wait a few, like having to plan, right? Like upgrade your watering can when it's raining and like, or at the end of the month. Make sure you do your mining before you upgrade your pickaxe because you won't be able to go to the mine for a few days. I love that, like, I love the planning around having to wait a few days for your tools to upgrade. And then it feels really, really rewarding, right? Because you have to, it's not like instant gratification. Like, you have to wait a little bit before you get your new tools. Every game with mines, it always takes me forever to find the ladders. It discourages me from playing. Oh... Well, there's no, there's no rush, right? It is hard to find the ladders. Like it does take some time. It's not, it's not just you. The Doraemon Star of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom is the first one, right? I think I heard normal Doraemon. Yeah, there's Doraemon Story of Seasons. That's the first one. And then the one that I'm playing today, Friends of the Great Kingdom, that's the second one. So I'm playing the second one right now. I do have a video comparing all the Story of Seasons games on the Switch, all the five games. So maybe that would help you if you're not sure like which one, which one you should get, which one is best for you. But for the Doraemon games, the second one is better pretty much in almost every way. There was a third Doraemon. There's no third game, no. It's just maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, just I'm happy they are able to retain the art style from the first game. Hopefully, hopefully it will be the same for the third. Yeah, they've not announced a third game, but yeah, if they do one, I mean, I'm sure they would keep the same art style, right? At this point. And like with the second game, they did a few things to with the art style. Like sometimes the perspective changes. Depending on the area, and yeah, it just looks so much. It looks even better than the first game. It seems like it's always the last block I hit. Yeah, that happens. It happens. Maybe you can upgrade your stamina. I feel like that makes a big difference. Like in this game, if you go to the doctor, you can buy potions to increase your maximum stamina. I feel like that really helps with the mining. Because it's always it's also taking me it's also taking me a while to find the ladder. I always start with the dirt that's easier to hit, like the brown one. And then, oh, see, I got it. 
And then the, the gray one takes more hits. Or like stronger hits. So I do it after. Alright, let Doraemon do it. Just go back and let your animals back in. They will get sick. Oh yeah, it's raining. I didn't notice. Yeah, I will. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't notice it was raining. I'll never find the ladder until the end. Yeah, I think we <laughs> I think it happens to all of us. You could also just, if you don't have too much stamina, you can just let your friend kind of do it. But your, yeah, your friend is kind of slow. Hi everyone, can't stay for long, but wanted to pop in. Starry Skies Gaming, I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having good, good Saturday so far. So we're on the fifth floor. Apparently from here, you can start getting Ruby. And the ground is like harder on this floor too. So it takes more, it takes more stamina. The weirdest thing the animals do is they refuse to eat fresh grass on the field while grazing outside. I don't think they need... I don't think they need actual grass outside, right? I forgot how they eat outside. Do they not just like get food, whatever? I know... Oh, the chickens don't need... I'm not too sure what you need. What you mean they refuse to eat fresh grass, actually. I forgot how it works, because it works differently in every game. I think you don't need to have anything. You, they just need to be outside, right, in this game? I'm not sure. Hi, Josh, it's 3 a.m. for me. It's so late for you. Where are you that it's 3 a.m.? What time zone is that? But, yeah, it's late for you. I <laughs> hope you can get some good sleep. They only eat on their feeding bin. Really? I've been le I've been leaving them outside for like days and days. Uh, I always get confused because it's so different. Like every single every single game has different like mechanics for like feeding the animals and like leaving them outside or inside or. Because I've not been feeding them since the beginning of the stream. I've just left them outside. I just had a late night out, so it's nice to catch a relaxing stream before bed. Ooh, I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Alright. Well, I got some gold. At least. Yeah, never sell your metal scraps. Yeah, don't worry, I'm keeping I'm keeping them. Oh, it's sunny. Wait, why did I... Wait. When I go in the mine... No, it is sunny. Could there be a storm for like a few hours? There was a little storm icon in the top right. Now it's sunny. Where is your anywhere door? Yeah, I've not been using the door a lot. It's fine, I don't mind. I don't mind walking. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little nap to recover a little bit of stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, the weather is like in a wonderful life. Oh, so we can change. I think I forgot to milk my... <laughs> I think I've not milked my cow since the beginning of the stream, right? I've got too many things. Oh yeah, let's sell some stuff. I love that you get a little light at night. I'm just gonna put... Like, I don't need that much money right now. I'm gonna keep the chicken feed. Get the free dinner. I think I'm fine. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep after that. Yeah, I think my animals have been... I think your animals do eat if they're outside because they're doing fine. Like I'm getting eggs every day. And there's no one stuck inside, right? Oh, this one is pregnant. Oh, but they have food here. But I don't know. Because I don't know. I've been just like leaving them outside all the time. Is there an easier way to put animals in other than pushing? You have to push them. Peppermint said, "If I think if you upgrade... Oh my gosh, I think one of my animals did get sick now. I think if you upgrade, maybe there's a bell or something, but you have to push them. Oh, it's not, they're not too hard to push, though, compared to other games. Uh, good morning to you, Nobi. Oh, we got some lemon. Uh, morning, Minister Plumsworth. What are you doing here? Uh, I wanted to inform you that our summer harvest contest is being held tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I can bring my lemon there. I'm not really sure. Yeah, well, give it some thought. Anyone is welcome to participate as long as they possess an eligible summer crop. Yeah. Uh, Hullabaloo Square. Yeah. I'll see you there. Oh, you don't need to go upstairs to sleep and place a bed into that small room on the left. Oh, I see. Well, I don't mind. That's good to know. But I don't mind going upstairs. A contest to see who has raised the most um, valuable high quality crop. You can join the competition by handing a summer crop. Okay. Normal land based crops are eligible. I don't know if the, fr the trees are working for that. The fruit. Once you get the first house upgrade, you'll get a small room to decorate and be able to place a bed to sleep and not run upstairs. Yeah, I do have that. I do have that room, but. Yeah. You can place a bed in the room here. Oh, and got some melon as well. Okay, I think one of my animals got sick. I'm gonna have to take a look. There's multiple of them. Four of them got sick. Oh, how do you know? Okay, let's go check. Let's go see what's happening. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, the chickens. Mm, maybe. Oh, my gosh. I forgot I had a horse. I am charming and rated you with a party of five viewers on Twitch. Thank you so much. The sprouts have come to share today's harvest. Pokey dive. Thank you so much. Charmy, Charmy, thank you. What were you guys playing? Oh yeah, so they do eat they do eat the food from inside, even if they're outside. Okay, that is kind of oh yeah. That is true. I always I always forget. Okay. So our chickens, we're gonna have to buy some medicine for our chickens. We we're playing Stardew. Ooh, nice. I hope you're enjoying the update. Hope you're enjoying the update. Ay, 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 my chickens. And it's not like I didn't have the food. I just, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, it's fine. We're gonna go buy some medicine. Agent Piper will not like. Yeah, hopefully Piper doesn't see what what I'm doing to chickens. I'm gonna get scolded by the chicken chicken cup. All right, we got some melon. Okay, let me go buy some medicine. I don't know if it's like in the first the first game. In the first game, when your animals are sick, it's such a pain. It's so annoying because you have to give them like sometimes medicine for like multiple days, and it costs like ten thousand to fix one animal. Uh, hi, Josh. Hi, Brown. I'm in Japan right now. Ooh, Miles, I hope you're enjoying. I had a 13-hour flight, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Well, you're there now. Enjoy it. That is so much fun. I hope you have a good time. I know long flights can be tedious, but kind of fun, too, right? I feel like long flights, if you have your Switch, and, like, you can watch a movies, sleep. I can't, I can't honestly, I can't sleep on long flights. Um, okay, uh, where, doctor, where are you? I need you. So happy to have Josh on my hotel screen. Yeah, that is so nice. Happy to be, uh, I'm happy to be in Japan. Happy to be in Japan as well with you. Uh, from 10. We're gonna take a nap. She's sleeping. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you're... Yeah, this stream is on both Twitch and YouTube. So if you see I'm talking to, like, responding a message or not seeing, I'm probably responding on someone on the other... On the other side. Uh, animal meds. Oh, they're not too expensive in this game. Thank <laughs> All right, let's go fix those animals. How long is the travel time between Canada and Japan? It depends which part of Canada. But like from Toronto, it's like 11, 12 hours. Something like that. Maybe 13, 12, maybe more 12, 13. Anyway, yeah, it is pretty long. It is pretty long. Should I buy another cow? No, I'm gonna wait. I'm breeding that. I think if you get. I forgot how you get the different animal colors. I think you need to breed your animals to get the different colors. Finally, cut on live stream. I love your content, Judge Billy. Thank you so much. I have a client in Japan and will probably get to travel there sometime this year. Oh, nice. I hope you get the chance to. That sounds. Sounds like a fun business trip. All right, chickies. My little chickies, I've come to have some medicine for you. Hey! Yeah, they get healed instantly in this game, which is good. Yeah, in the first game, you have to give them medicine and like... 
day after day after day and like it was not worth like honestly it was not worth healing your animals in the first game no big deal here uh but yeah you gotta make sure because they eat even if they're outside they eat the food from inside now i just remembered That little dog is so cute. Yeah, on the original, it didn't work very well. Yeah, the first game was very flawed. Still fun, but... Oh, thank you so much. So maybe we can bring those melons... ...tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's the festival. I'm gonna let her water them. I'm looking for my watering can. Uh, I need to keep money too for tomorrow. Okay, so melon. Oh yeah, it's just half a star. It's not really good. It's not that great. Okay, maybe I can fish. Um, just to make some money. I'm gonna fish today. Make a bunch of money and then uh, whenever it's autumn we can buy a lot of seeds. How do you get a higher star crops? I think you have to use fertilizer, which I've not been, I've not been using. There's a list of viewers on Twitch. I did not know that. Can see the viewers on Twitch. This game is so underrated. It's a source of comfort. It's such a source of comfort. I mean, it is. It's so relaxing. Shizuka's outfit. It's all dirty. I know. <laughs> Poor her. A little sheep outfit. That's a nice detail though. Like if you do farm work or any kind of work, actually your your outfit can get a little bit dirty. Good job. Good job, Sue. This game is honestly peak cozy vibes. It is. I should have gotten the game for when it was on sale for $12. You should. It goes on sale often, though. It goes on both this and the first one. I would definitely recommend you keep an eye. Like, make sure you get the second game, Friends of the Great Kingdom, because it's so much better. But, yeah, it is worth getting on sale. Even full price. Even full price, I think it's worth it. I missed the woolly outfit already, right? Yesterday I was wearing my my woolly woolly hoodie for Rune Five Three Street. It was so fun to play Rune Five Three Frontier yesterday. That was so much fun. I kind of want to play it again. Not kind of. I really want to play it again. Such a fun game. Except for the Roonies. Shozi, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Josh and everyone. I hope everyone... Uh, how's everyone? Sparkling Sakura, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good too. Happy Story of Season Saturday. There's a lot of fish in that small pond. Uh, I forgot, are you supposed to do something when your clothes get dirty? No, they just, over time, they become clean again. There's nothing to do. There's no laundry. Does this game have makers where you can make jams and stuff with their crops? There are a few. There's... 
as you can see at the bottom there's a seed maker there's a grinder and there's four other makers that i don't have yet maybe we can make some let's go see the carpenter uh no is it no the makers no the makers in this game you get them from wait yeah, you put a crop and you get three seeds. Um, the makers in this game, you get them from... Is that from him? Hi. Oh. Arigato. I got a Doraemon balloon. I forgot who you get the makers from in this game. Mm. I think you get them from one of your friends, right? I think those balloons... Oh, okay. Build a maker appliances. Oh, make fertilizer. Oh, you need eggs and fertilizer. And for the makers... Oh, there's nothing he can make. He has to, like... I have to progress a little bit more. And to make regular fertilizer, I think I can just buy them from the store. But yeah, I need to... Yeah, I need to get on that. So I need to keep my eggs. Keep my eggs for that. Uh, you have to buy fertilizer. There's no way to convert uh, for fertilizer. Yeah, okay. You have to, yeah. You have to buy it. Oh, you want to have the other makers until Barn and Coop level 3? Oh, I see. Maybe I can check... Maybe I can check if I can upgrade them. Let's see if I can upgrade. What I need to upgrade my barn and my coop. 70 likes, let's go. Yeah, let's get to 100 likes, guys. If you're enjoying the stream, enjoying this game, you're watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a like. Leave a like on the stream. Let's get to 100. Or more. You'll need gems for later upgrades. Oh, that's probably why I've not done them. That's probably why. So I think I just need to go mining more. Oops. I think I'm getting the DLC <laughs> stuff. Okay. Um... Oh no, this is just decor. I'm going in the wrong. Oh yeah, this is the decor. If you guys were curious about the decoration in this game, there is a lot of different fences, paths. Lots of teams. Most of the furniture from the first game is there. And you've got a little bit more as well. You've got signs. So it is pretty nice. And you've got like fancier stuff too as well. Yeah, there's honestly a good, good selection. I think you have to speak with Belle, right? For the buildings. And she's not here today. Nine to no. Three. Why? Why is she not here? Bell is building, so you won't be able to buy anything else. Yeah. Dragon fairy gifted. Want your sub? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. When welcome to Mushimon. 
Lou Simon, welcome, welcome. Oh, Belle is building the farm. Is she? Is she working on? Is she working? Did I ask her to work on something? Oh, Nayana, welcome. Thank you for becoming a member on YouTube. Nice to have you. Hopefully, we see you in the member streams, which are every other every other Wednesday. So, yeah, we play lots of lots of different games. We played The Sims 2 last time. So, yeah, hopefully, we see you there. But thank you so much for your support for joining us. Oh yeah, she's working on some. I forgot what what is she building. I forgot what she's working on. Oh well. Uh, should we go mining? Let's go mining a little bit. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Just sitting down with my first coffee of the morning for the stream. Happy good good morning to you. I hope your coffee is good. Yeah. Nice. Nice to see you. Hope you're having a good, good Saturday. Good start of season Saturday. Let's see. Are you doing anything fun today? That's one thing I wish I'd tell you what you, it would tell you what you requested, right? Well, usually most people like when they play, because last time I played was like six months ago. Like usually you would remember what she's building, right? It's just because it's been a long time since I played. I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Where am I going? I want to go mining. We need to finish this game. I need to like play it, finish it. I think I'm almost done with the main story, but oh, you know what? I want to check. I forgot what you can do with the. Let me bring my metal scraps, the little sprites. I forgot what you can do with them. I think you can order like the little clouds, which are like the sprinklers. Probably in my other. It's like a shed, right? Let me see your main story progression part. Uh, to do list bonding. We stop the demon's breath and earn the queen's trust. All of us together. Time for some well earned downtime with Luana. Oh, it's all like well earned downtime with. I think I am done with the main... Am I not done with the main story? Yeah, or I'm like pretty close. Um, yeah, what was, what was I doing? Oh yeah, isn't there... Oh no, I think I'm mixing up. I think I'm confused with the first game. Isn't there a shed for like... Right? Uh, where are my metal scraps? Oh, there they are. I found them. You're still far from the story being done. Oh, am I? They really improved with this one compared to the first game. Yes, honestly, it's improved in like pretty much every way. Oh, so something's gonna happen in the story to like... I guess something's gonna happen.
You won't go further in the story without befriending the Yeah, I know that, but the way that the story was broken, I thought it was very close to the end. Um, all right. Uh, oh, it's actually, it's here, right? You missed the harvestable tree. Yeah, I didn't miss it. I just didn't pick it up. Oh, yeah, here's the sprites. Oops. Oh, yeah, they can take care of your... Maybe I should do that so I don't forget to feed my animals. Yeah, you can buy Ultra Upgrader. Gadget that improves all tool performance for an hour. Um, that's for fatigue. Flips heaven and earth for one hour. I don't know what that does. Yeah, a lot of them are just temporary, but... Grow or farm restaurant. I'm not too sure what that is. The rain cloud is good. That's kind of like the sprinklers. Planting the seed speeds up the growth of various plants depending on the environment. That sounds fun. Use this pen on any round object to turn it into a real deal watermelon. There's so many gadgets. So many gadgets. Not all of them are useful. Yeah, a lot of them are yeah, just for fun. So if I want them to work, do I need to pay them with something? Oh yeah. So you don't need to pay them anything. I don't know if they just help you for one day, or... Yeah, it's very similar to, like, Mineral Town. Alright, so these guys are gonna help me a little bit. I'm listening to this stream while I plant tomatoes in real life. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna have to start planting some stuff, too. I hope you get some good tomatoes this year. Oh, they increase up to four days. Go back and get the fatigue frogger. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna save my things for uh, rain clouds, maybe. Uh, should we go mining a little bit? I want to find some rubies. Uh, Firefox browser user here. Did YouTube format change? Uh, I've swept through all viewing options. I don't see a like button available. Oh no! Yeah, you can't like the stream. I'm... I'm I'm using Chrome, so I don't know, but I've seen other people. I think I've seen people like on Twitter or somewhere like complaining about YouTube's layout. So maybe they're changing it with sometimes with YouTube. They often do like changes with the like per user. They start with like a small quantity of users and then they'll expand it to everybody. So hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully don't remove the like button. Yeah, so it's probably not your browser. It's probably maybe your account or your IP address or something. Um, yeah. I'm curious to know if you can send a screenshot. I'm curious to know what that new layout looks like. I use Firefox as well and see the like button. That's so weird. My like button is just glitched most of the time. How's your like button glitched? 
just dropped it in the general discussion thread in Discord. Ooh, I'm curious to see. I want to see. If you guys are on Discord, you can see. Like, and I love that she keeps mining. Oh yeah, that is so weird. There's like so many. That is weird. There's no like description. It's just like other videos and stuff at the bottom. That seems so distracting. You're watching a video and then you see all of these other videos. Yeah, how do you leave a like? I love the rounded corners. The rounded corners are cute. Oh, it's, it is weird. It is kind of weird. Thank you for sharing that. Hopefully... Yeah, no description, no like button. Like, how... Like, these things are kind of important, right? They want to... I guess they want to make it more like... Well, they would rather you click on another video than clicking on the link in the description, right? I guess. But that seems... Kind of weird, though. Yes. If I switch to theater mode, more mini player, there's no comments, descriptions, or like button. Very strange. Sorry, I can't like the stream. Yeah, don't, I mean, don't be sorry. But it is strange. Like, I hope it doesn't change where, like, people are not going to comment. You know, if it's, like, if they make it difficult to like and comment, that's not going to be nice. Miss Fang, subscribe that, uh, subscribe that tier one for two months. Miss Fang, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Can't believe it's already been two months on Twitch. Love your videos, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, two months on Twitch. Two months of Twitching already. Time flies. It's already like mid-April. I feel like the year just started. We're already in the middle of April. Why does YouTube always go backwards when they do change it, right? I feel like they always change in the wrong direction. Yeah. The year is going too qu quickly. Yeah, so quickly. Yes, I know. It's going so quickly. Mine shows, so I'm not sure. Yeah, when they do these changes, they, it's always like gradual. They don't change it to every for everybody at the same time. I'm lucky with the mining today. I'm doing good. Floor six, we did that in like, um, yeah, so quickly. There's still no ruby. It's so hard to get ruby. Oh, I got diamond, though. That's got to be... I'm sure that will come in handy at some point. I don't want diamonds now, though. I want ruby. You need to fully charge for purple tiles. Yes, I know. Getting tired. Let's do a few more. And then we're gonna go to bed. I took a nap and missed a lot of stream. Oh no, pastel! I hope you had a good nap, though. I hope you had a good nap. Sometimes you go. <gasps> she found the ladder, the rope. Sometimes you need a nap, you know. Sometimes you need to sleep. So, yeah, I hope you had a good one. Alright, let's do the locomotive. Finally, lunchtime work has been nuts today, Piper. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. 
What are you up to eating today? Egg sandwich. Uh, I know you like egg sandwiches. Uh, see, this is where reloading save is required for. Yeah, I try. No I try to avoid doing that. Like saves coming for the mining. I don't mind like grinding. Like I, I complain that I don't find rubies, but I don't actually care. Like I don't actually mind. I turned the stream on at 10 and it's just been back to back calls and you've been on like volume level one. Oh no. At least you missed the part where all of my chickens got sick. We were we were scared of, of the, <laughs> the chicken cup scolding me. She's in spinach ravioli because it takes like five minutes. Oh, that's good. That is nice. Ravioli. Not the chokes, but they're fine. Now, now they're doing, they're fine. We healed them about a bunch of medicines. I forgot to feed them. Um, but now they're back to, back to fine. Glad to see there's some love for this story of Seasons game. Yes, lots of love. It is underrated though. I love the crossover <laughs> games and Friends of the Great Kingdom improved it so much. It's so much better than the first one. And that's your chicken. Oh, I was upgrading my chicken coop. That's what I was doing. Yeah, Belle was building for the last few days, but I forgot what she was doing. She's already gone home. She said she was exhausted. So yeah. Thank you. Oh, I got an incubator. Incubate what? Uh, it's a device to incubate your chicken eggs. I like the old train I got by my Twitch name, right? Uh, How is it because you took part in the hype train? Cur oh yeah, current hype train conductor. Ooh, good job, good job. Uh, ask who though. Yeah, let's incubate. Let's make some new chickens. Hi, Nobi, Mary. And you brought Doraemon with you? Turns out the specialist was me. <laughs> I see your chicken coop has expanded. Yeah, the chickens were starting to feed a little cooped up. Haha. <laughs> and the old one, but now there's more room. And the larger coop lets you do some new stuff too. I came to teach you all about it. What kind of new stuff? I'm glad you asked. Tell me, how do you feel about chicks? Chicks? Uh -huh. First, you put an egg into this brand new incubator. Then you put a chicken on top and let it warm up the egg for a few days. Oh, that's interesting. So you gotta keep a chicken to like work on work on the egg. Malkin resub to its prime. Thank you so much. It's your second month. Thank you, thank you. Here's a Twitch sub thingy I had. Thank you. Uh, it will hatch into a cute little baby chick. It might even be a different color from the parent. Oh yeah, that's why you gotta, instead of buying animals in this one, you gotta breed them if you want to have different colors. Uh, I don't know how it works, like, genetically, but yeah, the kids can be a different color. What's that I'm on doing here, though? I heard Oliver and Mary talk about an incubator and had a sudden stroke of inspiration. Oh, yeah, the time for chief. Uh, what's that? You can wrap it around something to move time forward or backward for that object. You can do it all sorts of stuff with it, uh, like using it on eggs to make them hatch sooner. <laughs> Try it on the incubator. It's kind of weird that you unlock that at the same time. Like you would think it's something you unlock later, but you should at least uh, you should at least hatch your first egg the old-fashioned. Oh, okay. Sure thing. Thanks, you too. That gadget is OP in real life. Is there a time kerchief in real life? Uh, the incubator is used to hatch eggs. Yes. I know that. Use the time kerchief on the incubator in the chicken coop to speed up the growth of chicks. To use first place an egg in the incubator. Yeah. Damned. Oh, then the time kerchief, then the chicken. I wish it w Yeah, I wish it would exist. Uh, all right. All right. Who's that? Henriette. Should we make a chick from Henriette or Mary or Valid? Valid? Why is she called? Oh, yeah, I remember because I kept saying my names were invalid. So we we named a chicken Valid and that's like the only name that worked. We got Sonia. Oh, that's a nice name. 
And Mary. Oh, do we have two Marys? I think we have two chickens named Mary. Uh, all right. So let's put an egg. Yeah, that was a bug with this game where, like, all of your name. It was sometimes... I don't know if they fixed it. But it was really hard to find a name that was not, like, invalid. Alright, so let's grab valid. Yep. Thank you, thank you. You're doing a great job. Oh yeah, I gotta feed them too. So they don't get sick again. Uh, chicken feed. And right now can I have so much more... So much more chicken. The chicken boxes, the, the food thingies are bigger on the right side than on the left side. Feed them since Piper is watching. Yeah. I gotta feed the cows too. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, those eyes. Uh, that cow's gotta give birth soon, right? He's been pregnant for a while. Judging. <laughs> I need to I need to watch out. I've got too many things. Oh yeah. Uh let me sell some stuff. I need to keep I wanna make the super fertilizer. Oh, is today the... Oh my gosh, today's the festival. I need to make sure I don't forget about that. Uh, I'm gonna bring a melon. Oh, I have bees I can make, uh, honey. And I'm gonna sell my fish. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep my eggs to make uh, the super fertilizer. See, I'm gonna make 5,000 just with these little fishies. It's one of the strangest mechanics I'd ever see personality. Uh, personally. Uh, both barn and coop animals. Oh, the fact that you can't... That they don't eat outside. Yeah, that is... That is odd. I mean, it's not too bad because the food is, like, not expensive in this game. But still, if you forget about it, it's like... Uh, honeybee goes in. Yeah, let's put a bee in here. Get some honey. All right, let's go to the festival. Dun, 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 dun. A bunch of dudes from CSX. Are here working on the train tracks. And my chickens keep going over to watch them. Oh, I hope they're not scared. At least they have something. I hope they're having fun watching them. <laughs> what CSX? Is that like a train company? The prices aren't expensive for the food. Yeah. Nothing is expensive in this game to be fair. Like, I wish some of the stuff was a little bit more expensive, you know. Um, oh, Mickey Monkey cheered 25 bits on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I think we gotta wait until 10, right? Not sure what it stands for, but it's a train company. Oh, I see. Oops. Maybe 10. Bring in your best crop. Yeah, I don't have too many. <laughs> it's like half a star. It's fine. Like, I, didn't, I, I don't have any good crops, so... Today's the harvest contest. If you've brought something to enter, you can give it to me. Yes, I will. Let me just talk with everybody. Work on my friendships a little bit, you know. Oh, you think you can still get me that thing I posted on Bolton board? I don't remember what it was, but I'll have to look at that. Oh yes, upgraded. I leveled up my friendship with Sally. Mm. 
are working on the twin tracks here as well as yesterday. There was a gas leak. Oh my gosh. I hope nothing bad happened. Oh, I got the time card chief. I like how you can nap. That That is so useful. Like, just like, you don't have to like wait around, you know? The only way to win is five star. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't have that. Next year. Next year. Oh, talk to Doraemon again. All right. Sir, I have a melon for you. Second in-game year, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not in, a, not in a rush. Ladies, that melon is so small now. Um, thank you all for gathering today despite this sweltering summer heat. The summer harvest contest will now commence. Yay! Uh, first, let us introduce our most esteemed judges. Poppy. Summer crops are always so nice and vibrant. I get all happy just looking at them. Salad and candy. And Granny Smith, you really are the best suited to judge this contest, Poppy dear. I'm so glad you're here. Magic Mango cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much. Are we gonna get a hype train? Sally asked me to be one of the judges in her stead. Thank you for having me. Uh, now then, let us introduce our participants. Prince Loomis. I've been working on making my crops thrive regardless of the conditions. I do hope it shows. Nobi, it doesn't matter how hot it is. I take care of my crops. I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> Sally, my flowers have bloomed rather nicely, but we'll see if they're good enough to lend me the win. I feel like Loomis is gonna win. Uh, with that, introductions are out of the way and judging can begin. Let's judge Puppy Pum, if you would. Josh, where is the Minecraft server? I'm withering away. I know I was talking about it earlier. I'm, I've been so, like, busy, but I really want to get it done soon. And with that, the judges have concluded their examination. It's time for the results. In third place, we have Prince Loomis. Ooh. Third place, what did I do wrong? Mm, not terrible, I suppose. Wouldn't pass our quality test down at the diner, though. The basic needs appear to have been taken care of, but one must remember to fertilize as well. I can't believe you got third and I just have like half a star. Don't be disheartened now. Simply try again next time once you've had a chance to improve. Next, our second place winner. Nubi! Second place, huh? Guess that's good enough. I'll have to try harder next time, though. Yeah. Mm, not quite as good as I'd hoped, but I could still see us using it down at the diner. Mm, this is rather nice. However, with a little extra effort, it could be even better. Oh, yes, I see. Very close indeed. We shall begin by announcing the winner of first place. Who's gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Sally! I'm so glad all that effort paid off. That looks downright amazing. Could see us putting it to good use down at the diner. A flower at the diner. Uh, that does look nice. One look tells you that it is of remarkably high quality. Good job, Sally. Good job, good job. She gets a trophy. Even 4.5 stars second place. Yeah, I feel like I deserve the third place. I should have gotten third place with my my melon that was not very good. All right. Well, yeah, we didn't win anything, but it's okay. We had a good time. We got a chance to like talk with everybody. Oh, I got a little achievement thingy. So I'm happy with that. Um, maybe should we buy saplings? I think in autumn, right? She's gonna have new ones. Better than The Sims where my cow comes in third in a competition. Is there a cow contest in The Sims? With only two cows every time. 
Oh my gosh, there's two cows in the competition, you come in third. <laughs> That is awful. Uh, let's go see if Bell can build something else on my farm. I don't know if it's too late. Uh, build. Uh, oh, I could do the large hut. I just need a little bit more wood and like a little bit more money. I could do a large house very soon. Material shack too, I could do that soon. I think I'm gonna do a large hot. I'm gonna get more wood. Yeah, let's go wood chopping. Let's go chop some trees. Chop some trees in the Sims 4. If you have cottage living, there's a weekly town fair cow and chicken competitions in Pi. Ooh, I don't have that expense. I don't have lots of expansion packs in the Sims 4. There's too much. There's too much stuff. Uh, have you tried this on PC or Switch only? I played it on... Actually, at the beginning, I played it on on Steam. So I have both. And it's actually good on Steam. Like, a lot of the stuff... It, it runs... Like, I'm playing on Switch right now. It runs really good on the Switch. So I prefer it on the Switch so I can play anywhere. But on PC, it's very good. Like, a lot of the story... Like, the mainline story of Seasons games are not the best with mouse and keyboard. But this one, you can actually navigate the menus with the mouse. Whereas the other games, like, kind of, like, not really, or, like, in the other games, kind of clunky a little bit with the mouse. Uh, but this one, this one does a good job on PC, actually. So. I don't know if the online features are there, though, for PC. I'm not sure. If, I think maybe they are. Oh, yeah, maybe they are. Because I know Olive Town doesn't have the online features on PC. Oh yeah, I need to chop trees. Let's chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, and it runs great on the Steam Deck. Hey. That's good to know. I don't have any packs cottage living. I see the last one I bought. Ooh, I see. Yeah, I find it overwhelming, like the Sims 4, because with all, like, there's just so many, like, kits and packs, and it's just, like, too much at one point. I would rather they release, like, less and just make them more complete, even if they were, like, more expensive. And now I just can't keep up with the Sims 4. We reached 100 likes. Oh my gosh, old guy, we did. Thank you so much for pointing it out. Thank you so much, guys, for leaving a like on the stream. That helps so much. Uh -huh. The Sims 4 packs are just too expensive with not enough content in them, and they're usually broken and we haven't bothered in a long time. That is sad. Like, that's why, like, like the other day I was playing The Sims 2, right? And I feel like in The Sims 2, the packs are so... Every expansion pack had so much content and they like integrated so well with like the base game. You know, I don't know, I felt like the packs were just so well done. Let's go power lives. I'm looking forward to that. I think I need 50 of each wood, right? For the house. Good morning. I hope everyone's having a good day. Morgan, I'm having a good day. You can't have a bad day with Story of Seasons. I hope you are as well. Uh, the online features are present in the PC version, although I always forget to get the daily gifts from the fishing. Oh yeah, true, right? I forgot about that too. Mostly hardwood and normal wood. Yeah, but I'm getting everything because I'm going to need more. I'm going to need everything. I'm playing Nino Kuni 2, so no bad, not a bad day on my side. Oh, that's fun. 
I played quite a, I've, I've never finished that game. But it is quite fun. Yeah, some trees you can't cut, right? The, the fruit trees. I'm getting hungry. It was scary at first during the demo. How come? The B outfit is cute. I know it is really cute. I think it's from the DLC. There's quite a few. I think I got like the season pass or whatever they called for the DLC for this game. You get a few outfits and little things. Hungry in real life, I am, yes. As always. It gives me flashback to horror experience for looking down the hall. Ooh. I think I have a hair on like I think I lost an eyelash or something. All right, let's go to bed. Let's have a good night of sleep. That's the wrong way, I'm going the wrong way. That's just me, it's definitely just you because that game did give, <laughs> this game definitely does not give me any horror vibes. Hopefully you'll have an awesome lunch later. I hope so, I hope so. I don't know what I'm gonna have yet, but I'm sure I'll find a way. I'll find something. I'll find something nice to eat. Good night, Nobi. Also, in case people are wondering, for time to pass out, it's until 5.59 a.m. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it gives you a lot of time. Yeah, I don't think I ever passed out in this game. I mean, I passed out from exhaustion, but not from, like, things to eat. So if you sleep at 5.59, are you gonna wake up late or you still like wake up at, you still wake up at six? A little one minute sleep. I wish you could do that in real life. Just go to bed, like a little hack where you could go to bed really late and wake up one minute later and be fine. A little life hack. Yeah, that, oh yeah, you still wake up at... Oh, that's nice. It's also like Rune Factory. You recover with full energy and HP during that. Yeah. Milky. Lily. Thank you for the milk. Ali. Thank you for the wool. They all rhyme. Oh, let's take care of our horse. I always forget. I always forget I have a horse. Yellow one is kind of cute, right? Uh, Big G in that chicken suit makes me think of Piper watching. <laughs> yeah, Piper is a big uh, chicken suit fan. I wish I could wear that chicken suit in the... Like, there are so many cute outfits that you can't wear. <gasps> Did it happen? Oh yeah, I think we got a baby cow. I have to get Mary, 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 Mary. Oh, really? 
Chicken suit is the best, yeah. Congratulations, it's a healthy baby cow. Nice, I'm so glad it's okay. Thank you for being born. It's such a cute. Thanks for coming, Mary. Look, the baby is snuggling against its mom. You're right, it's so cute. Uh, it sounds like mommy's calling to her baby to make sure it's okay. All right, I'm gonna do my best to... Oh, I hope we get a different color. So in this game, when you breed your cows, you get a chance of getting a new color. So I hope we get like a brown cow or something. I hope we get a new color. No, it's black and white. What should I name it? How should we name our cow? The best part of Coral Land is it allows you to get married in the... Oh, we can get married in the chicken suit. <laughs> that is so cute. I think there are proper proper wedding outfits you can buy too, right? Yeah, still cute. But I'm trying to get new... I want to get all the colors. They don't make any difference, but... Oreo... Oh, Oreo would be nice. Mute, Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't know if Carl and his word playtesting before it gets more polished. They're still... They're still... I'm gonna wait for more updates before I go back to Coral Island. Cuteness Overlord. Uh, Overload, yes. Oreo, let's do it. I love it. Take good care of Oreo, okay? Don't go try to milk a baby cow. Only the grown ups make milk. Got it. Hopefully, our baby chicken's gonna be a different color. I've not been lucky with my animals. Well, it's my... Oh, it's my first one, actually. It's my first calf. All right, let's bring her... Uh, I think she's still inside. Oreo. And this one, Mimi. Good job, Mimi. You did great. Uh, we should maybe impregnate another one. Let me go buy a potion. You... Go out, and you're gonna go out too, my little cookie, my little Oreo. Do they give better stuff with a different color? I think it's the same. I think it's just visuals. It's just cosmetics. So long, I forgot. I always mix up like the shops and stuff too with the first game because the first game and second game have the same graphical style, so I always mix up like where things are. I think we're gonna get a little cutscene. Hey, no, come back! Oh, chick! What a cutie. You can't just run off like that. Is something wrong? Nobi, Doraemon. Uh, it started after their mom left. What happened? What's happening? Huh? The chicks keep trying to run away. You remember how their mom had to go to the clinic? I don't remember. Well, ever since Dr. Stacy took her, the babies keep trying to escape anytime I look away. That's not good. You've got other animals that need your attention too. Um, yeah, but I really don't want them to wander off outside by themselves and get hurt. They're so tiny too. If they ever got lost, I don't know if I'd be even able to find them. Uh, hey, hey, come back. You can't do that. <laughs> They're so naughty, these little chicks. I definitely buy games with cuteness, being on top of the things I look for in a game. Honestly, it is nice. It is nice when the game... I look for the gameplay first, but... It never hurts to have some cuteness on top. Tracer badge. Mm, put one of these on anything you want and it'll show up right Oh, on this special map. So we could put these on the chicks and then we'd always know where they ran up to. Perfect, let's still marry. I'll go get her right away. Uh, that should do it. And these will really help us keep track of the chicks. I guarantee it. Here, Nobi, take a look at this map. On it. Oh, let's see here. Oh, hey, you're right. I can see them all. Show me, show me. 
This marker right here shows where the chicks are. Look, uh, you see how they're all huddled up together? That's what the map shows too. Wow, that's... So oh! <laughs> Ah, uh, there they go again. No need to worry. One look at the map and we'll know exactly where they're headed. That's a relief. So where did they go? Uh, let's see. It looks like they're scattered across the diner, the smithy, and Castleton Plaza. Let's go check the plaza first. Have you tried speedrunning this game, Pipper Mints? I feel you can do it super fast. I finished in year one, fall six. Ooh. Yeah, that's faster than me. I order you to halt Twee and Velvety, though you may be, none are allowed beyond this point. Be gone with you, uh, back to your home. Promo oh, chick. I'm not sure they speak our language, you know? <laughs> uh, look, there it is. Uh, this little fella belong to you? Yep, it escaped from Mary's coop. Uh, well, take the nimble little fiend and be on your way then. Here, little chicky. Just enjoy the game at your own pace, however you please. Exactly, that's the beauty. Beauty of these games. That's why I like farming games. Come on, little guy. There's nothing for chicks there. Come back to Mary's. Mary's so cute. I love her hairstyle so much. She is really cute. Uh, it can't be safe to just leave it here. We've got to do something. How are we going to convince it to come back, though? Uh, if it were Doraemon, all it would take is one little... It's a chick. Why don't you just grab it? I'm not that easy. Uh, hey, you're right, Nobi. Hmm? Not you, Mary. No, not you, silly. I just mean we need something the chicks love to lure them back home. It's worth a shot. Maybe we could try some animal treats? Actually, this little chick love daikon. We could try that. Daikon, leave it to me. Thanks, Nobi. I hope I can grow that in autumn. Corn, cucumbers, corn, cucumbers, daikon. That same scene just happened to me. Oh, nice. Said by someone who's clearly never had to catch a chicken before. I mean, the chick is right here. I, I did never catch a chicken, but the chick is right there in front of you. Like in A Wonderful Life, it might be better to take it slow or else you might have nothing to do later in game. Right? That's a good... That's true. Oh, Daikon is only winter. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take a while before... These chicks would become adult by the time, you know. All right, well, we did some good... Um, Progress. Let me change. Oh, yeah, I need to get some more wood, right? Let me see how much wood we have now. Oh, maybe I have daikon. No, I don't. I do not. Uh, okay, so, uh, 61. I think I have enough hardwood. Normal wood, 45. Maybe I need more softwood. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot how much wood I need. Let's go back. Let's go back to see Bell. I want to see how much wood I need. Uh, let me water... I don't know if these melons are going to grow in time. Uh, which one are you upgrading? Melons take 18 days to grow. Uh, I'm doing the house upgrade. No speed grow. I think there is something. I think there is a fertilizer to make... I forgot. If there's a way to make them go faster.
You need 40 soft wood and 50 normal wood for your remaining. Okay, well, let me check. I'm, I'm here. Let me check. No, there is no way. Uh, oh, it's closed on Wednesday, right? Or... No, I think they're just having lunch. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, breakfast, I mean. Uh, 9 to... Okay. Oh, no, it's closed on Wednesday. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Uh, we are gonna go... I'm gonna go chop some more wood then. I'm gonna see if there's more. If there's more wood I can get. Oops, wrong place. I mean, you can buy ores. I don't think you can buy wood, right? I don't think there's a, a way to buy it. Oh, maybe there is, actually. All right, let's chop, 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 chop. Oh, we got some pistachio. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I want to have pistachios. Gems can't buy ores. You can yeah, I know you cannot buy gems. I was talking about wood. I don't think you can buy I, I was wondering if you could buy wood or not. Oh, wood you can. Oh, so maybe I can just buy some. Maybe I could just buy whatever I'm missing. We'll see. I'm looking forward to seeing what autumn looks like. I want to see at least before the end of the stream. See one day, one day of autumn. It's gonna look so good. That's one thing. Like in the first game, I remember the seasons all looked all looked really nice. I think I got all the wood here yesterday. Autumn is pretty. This game has no auto item pickup. No, you do pick them up by yourself. I mean, it doesn't take too long to pick them up. But yeah, it's not automatic. Did you see that didn't come out time update? By the way, it's available on the test build. I know I've seen that. Maybe next week. Maybe next week we could do a didn't come stream. I'm really curious about that new update. It would be nice. There would be a good time to go back to it. Yeah, didn't come is so so much fun. I debated investing my time playtesting the income. Yeah, it is fun. But I'm horrible at decorating. You, you don't have to decorate. There's so much to do even without the decoration in the income. <laughs> I think you would enjoy it. I was tempted, but I'm testing so many games already. I had to tell... Emote is oh, I had to tell myself no. Yeah. Um... Oh, do I have that little bug? Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's so many updates, so many games, so many games getting updates and stuff. Oh yeah, let me go to that underwater place we unlocked earlier, right? Maybe we can get some good stuff. Sandrak is doing a new play test and I was like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it's just the cutscene. The animation shows up every time. I just don't have time. I'm testing echoes right now. Oh, I hope you're enjoying it. I've seen you've been enjoying it actually. I'm looking forward to playing it. Just a few more. Just a few more weeks. I 
Ooh, necklace. Is it for se to sell? Or maybe it's... F maybe you just sell it? You can, but I would keep it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. Plum Grove is a little intimidating to me, it looks hard. It definitely is like, well, I've only played the demo, but from what I know of the game and like, when I talk to the developers and everything, it does seem like it, it, it's definitely gonna be on the more challenging side because it has like survival elements. So you've gotta make sure you have food every day. You gotta make sure that you save food for winter as well. But I think it's gonna be nice to like spice things up like, I have a little bit of a challenging farming game. I think it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, I can see how it's it might not be for everyone, right? Plum Grove has a demo right now. I don't think it has a. There used they used to have a demo, but I don't think there is now. Uh, I don't think there's a demo anymore. All right, what should I do? Should I go mining? Let's go, let's do that. Let's do mine. Let's go fish. I want to make money. Let's fish a little bit. Fish. Oh, you found the hidden foraging item. The one I told you about sometimes. Oh, it was not too hidden though. Yeah, I'm going to fish a little bit. Drink some water. Uh, I think they keep taking the Echoes demo down because the game is changing bunches. Yeah, I don't think there is. I don't think the demo is up now, right? Hopefully, with the full release, they they launch a new. The thing I didn't like with the demo is that it's like three or f it's like four days or something. You start like on the Thursday and it finishes on the Sunday, I think. And you barely had any time to do anything. I feel like. Like, you barely could grow any crops or anything during the demo, so it was just... I had a good time with it, but I felt like it was way too short of a demo. Yeah, that's not enough time to do anything. Yeah. And, like, you didn't have enough to, like, find find the different tools. I feel like the demo should put you, like, in the middle of the game, you know, where you have crops already, where you have all the tools so you can try everything. But now in the demo, you don't... I think you don't have, like the fishing run like you can get some of the tools but it's just so like you're kind of rushing trying to get stuff you know but it gives you a little taste of the game though i got back into stardew with the expanded mod Ooh, i'm having fun with that enjoy it i've never tried the expanded mod i've been having so much fun with stardew valley recently i finished summer of stream yesterday but I want to start autumn with you guys. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to stream it probably next week. So next week, I have to do Stardew Valley. What's the other game I said? Oh, yeah, didn't come. Didn't come Stardew Valley. Um, yeah, what else we should play on stream next week? Harvestella. Probably not Harvestella. I mean, it's really fun, but... I have so many things to play. Remember to shake all the trees. Oh yeah, sometimes you get, oh yeah. Good source of income, very early game. I like how story heavy this game is. What other games come to mind? When you think of story heavy games, I really enjoy the feeling of getting to know the villagers and learning their stories. Yeah, and I think the story is fun too. Sometimes there are story heavy games where the story is not that fun. Um, other story heavy games, there's wildflowers. But I didn't like the gameplay. I, I like this game because the gameplay is fun and the story is fun. 
I was like wildflowers. I feel like the story was fun, but the gameplay was not that like an, an, uh, amazing. Um, Harvestella is story heavy. It's a little bit more like action RPG than like cozy farming, but there's farming and everything too as well. Uh, Harvestella has a pretty good story. In the story of season series, honestly, I would say the Doraemon games are pretty much the only ones that have like really like an interesting story like that. Uh, there's a new city builder coming in, in next month. I'm looking for two manor lords. Ooh, I've never heard of that. Oh, I was suggesting Tubber Man. Oh, oh, so we got the same suggestion. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, Harvestella, like if you want a good story, there's no voice acting, so there's a lot of reading, but it, it is really fun. It is so much fun. Yeah, if they do a uh, Harvest Tala sequel, I hope it would get voice acting. something good <laughs> yeah I just got some weeds um, all right what should I do what should I do should we go mining yeah let's mine a little bit let's mine let's mine <laughs> Yeah, I need Ruby to get the gold tools. It's hard. I've not gotten I've gotten diamonds and like all of that, but no Ruby. Did you organize your inventory first? Uh, I did not. I think that should be I think I should have enough space, right? I think that's fine. Harvest Anna 2 probably won't happen in a while. I heard the director left Square Enix. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. But, I mean, Square Enix still has the license. Like, if they want to make... If they want to make a game, they can... Just get someone else to direct it, right? So, I don't know if that makes a big... I don't know if that really makes a big difference. Uh, yeah, you need to organize. I think I should be fine. In a bit, I talked to a friend of mine to play in Shrouded with me. I've been curious. Yeah, it is. As Miki says, it is good. I need to play it more. I played it a little bit last week. Just too many, too many games to play. Outfit is so dirty. My gosh, where's that rope? Where's that rope? Oh. I love that your friends help you like this. Honestly, it's so nice. It's one of my favorite features of this game. And I really hope they kind of use that in the mainline service. Like, I want to see that feature used in more games. It's so nice to have a friend helping you a little bit, you know? Makes you less, like... There's lots of farming games where you feel like you're you're the only one working, doing everything. Especially, like, when you water the crops, it's quite fun. Like, you can take care of your animals, you brush your animals, and, like, your friend's gonna water the crops in the meantime. It's, like, a cute, cute little teamwork. Yeah. 
one of these days I'll make a guide for this. A guide for this game. Do you make lots of guides? Um, where is the ladder? Yeah, there's honestly not, not a lot of guides. There's not that much information about this game. So, you should do it. You should do it. Yeah, it's gonna be the last. Oh. Good job, Lumis. Floor three. Yeah, we're not gonna get. We're not getting very far today. And then it's gonna be the last day. Last day of summer. No ruby. Yeah, no ruby. I mean, I'm not deep enough, but even when I was deep earlier, I couldn't find them. I just got a diamond earlier, but... That's all I got. It's fine. Oh, let's talk with him. Oh, next month is Paper Mario. That is so true, right? I want to check it out. I love the original Thousand Year Door. I've never finished it, but I love the little bit that I played because I never owned the game, so I rented it and I had friends who had it, but I never could finish it. All right, last day of summer. Oh, I got a pink heart with Sue. There's a random soft luck if you get one of the stats max and level up, but cannot fill anything else. Oh, and Paper Mario. Hopefully they fix that in the remake. The animal suits are really, they are really cute. Yeah, they're one of the DLCs. Yeah, different outfits are nice. Ooh, now let's milk them. Thank you, Milky. Oh yeah, I wanted to... Um, Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, I want to check the animal store, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. And then I triggered a cutscene with the chicks. Uh, I'm just going to keep everything. Um, yeah, I wanted to buy a thing to make a cow pregnant. Uh, if you were gifted a Steam Deck, would you stream games on it? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. I could try. If I had a Steam Deck, I would definitely like. Uh, for reviews, I could get like footage from it and like compare like the PC, like how it runs on the PC or like how it runs on the Steam Deck. Because uh, people often ask me, how does this game run on the Steam Deck? So, like, I, I feel like having it would be good for reviews. Uh, just so I could, like, compare and see how it runs. But I don't know if I would stream on it, though. Because for streaming... Like, if I streamed on my Steam Deck, I would be, like, looking down like this. You know? Um, so, I don't know if I would stream on it. I could use it for like, yeah, talk about it in videos, but yeah, for streaming, I would probably stream on my PC because everything is like 
set up better. Yeah, I don't know. Um, if Omi B is seeing this, that the outfit is an approval from her, right? She would love, she would love that outfit. One thing to note when placing fodder in feeding bins is on this are much smoother than unlike the original Doraemon. Yeah, everything honestly is smoother. I remember the original game too, like to pick up the eggs. The chicks were always, the chickens were always on top of the eggs. So you had to lift the chickens, pick up the egg. That was really tedious. Yeah, they definitely listened to the player's feedback for this sequel and like fix fix everything. There's a Steam Deck, uh, a Steam Dock that you can put the Steam Deck on and connect the control. Oh yeah, yeah, I could do it that way. But then I have a PC, so like. But yeah, it's true that the dock with the dock I could stream it more like normally. But I already have a PC, so. Oh, Chef Michi, Chef Michi, thank you so much for following on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. See, I wanted to get those cows, those brown cows with the little star. What is she doing in the corner like this? Uh, is it not from her that she buy? Oh, I think it's inside. It's with the other girl. Deja vu of chickens constantly laying on top of an egg. Oh, in a wonderful in a wonderful life, it was not too annoying though. I know in in a wonderful life, it didn't bother me to lift the chickens. I don't know why. Oh no, they're closed. You cannot marry. No, there's no marriage in this game because you play as a kid. But I think the social mechanics are better than in a lot of other games because you can actually work. You can have dinner with your friends. Um, you can have them like follow you around and help you with your chores. So it feels like the social aspect, even though there's no like marriage, I feel like it's better than a lot of other games. Right, let's do a little bit of fishing. I kind of like that certain mechanics are luck to friendship forces you to socialize. Yeah, like the most of the story, most of the quest are locked behind friendship so you really do have to like talk with everybody and like that is nice and the events are fun right it's fun to it's actually fun to like get to know the characters and get to know their stories like there are there are lots of games that i don't care too much about the story but in this one in this one i find it fun Everyone has their own story, which is pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much every like household, every family has like their own storyline. Okay, that's enough fishing for today. No, I just got enough. Just got one octopus. Uh, should I go mining? Or let's see if there's any quests. Cucumber. Yeah, I just need to work on my friendships. Mm, silver pearls, I don't have that yet. Yeah, maybe we can go mining. Oh yeah, since the carpenter is open. Oh yeah, let's go check the carpenter. Let's go see what I need for my house. I don't know if the trees are going to be back. Maybe I can buy. Maybe I can just buy the wood. Oh, I don't have enough for the house though. I don't have enough money. I think I need fifteen thousand. Yeah, I still need a little bit more money. Oh, I just need more softwood. I need forty softwood, and wait, the money is twelve thousand. Okay. 
Uh, I need a little bit of softwood. And a little bit of money. Wait, is she mm, buy material? Oh yeah, that wouldn't be too expensive. Well, I'm gonna try to get a little bit, but yeah. So may mainly, what I need is money. Maybe I can go fishing. It is cheesy, but I have max hearts with everyone by just giving them an animal treat every day. <laughs> Plus the occasional button board request. Yeah, honestly, the friendships don't take too long to uh, to level up in this game. Like I've been mostly just talking, and like it goes up pretty quickly. Yeah, it is kind of funny that they accept the animal treats. It's like an olive town where you can give like fodder or like stone or like random little things like that to everybody. The weather is about to rain. Oh yeah. May want to get the animals back in since Pepper is watching you. Yeah, well, as long as at the end of the day it's sunny, it should be fine, right? If it just rains for a few hours, I think it should be okay, right? And is it really gonna rain or it's just cloudy? Let's fish... Here. Near the shipping bin. It's random. Yeah, so it's not necessarily gonna rain. I'm just giving them stone and the friendship points already maxed out in autumn first year. I shouldn't give them, I should start giving them more. I never give them gifts. Good job, Big G. It's not biting on my fishing recently. Big G's getting so much more, so much more fish than me. Yay, great fish. It's only one fish at a time. Yeah, of course. But yeah, your companion also, your companion also like, yeah, you have to fish. He only gets one fish and then he stops. So you have to start fishing again. I feel like it's not I feel like it's not biting as quick as it was earlier. Uh, I don't know if I want to know how many people just decide to give things like animal feed and building stone to people. I know probably a lot of people if if it works. Oh my gosh, I missed the fish. Probably, like, I need a little bit of money. I could probably sell some stuff that I already have in my storage. By the way, I just earlier I was looking at the top right, thinking that was how much money I was make, making with the stuff I was selling. That's just the total, actually, you already have. Um, or maybe I can sell some pumpkins. Uh, oh, I have some carrot seeds. Mm. 
melon. I can sell that. Let's sell some milk. Yeah. Nine hundred. One forty. It's hard, you can't see, you have to like count manually if you want to see how much money you're gonna make in one day. I don't think I'm gonna make 3,000. Yeah, there is a lot of storage space. Oh, don't give them grass, they don't like it. Oh, I have wool, 362. could sell some eggs. I want to keep eggs for fertilizers, but... Oh, I have lots of lemons. 60 each. 60 times 18. That sounds like a lot. I have some wheat. I mean, wheat is kind of useful, though. Almonds. Right? I, sh I think I should have enough money now. And I'm gonna keep those melons for cooking and stuff. Oh, I think there's grass to water there. I always forget, I always forget about this grass. I'm gonna have to plant more too in autumn. Thank you, Big G. I'm gonna have to start decorating my farm too. Like, organizing it a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we still have a lot of stamina. We still have a lot of time. Should I go mining? Let's do that for for the rest of the day. Let's go mining to wrap up wrap up the stream, and then we're gonna take a walk, a little autumn walk tomorrow to see how things look. It's been such a relaxing stream, though. It's been such it's such a relaxing game. Even though I feel like we didn't make that much like progress or like anything really special, but it's such a cozy such a cozy game. If you've not played it, I I do recommend it. I think it, it is worth it. Where's that rope? I don't know how many floors there are in the mine in this game. But I never made it to the bottom, I don't think. There's 10. Oh, so there's not that many. I think I got to the sixth floor earlier. I'm definitely not going to make it very far today. It really depends like if you're lucky or not. Is the shortest amount of floors like Immortal Life? Yeah. Well, Immortal Life though, the floors are big. I'm playing at my own pace and still feel like I'm speedrunning. Yeah, that's a good... Like, you're always making a little bit of progress, though, in this game. That's, which is nice. It's very rewarding. Oh, yeah, I found it. Three. 
If I could find like one ruby by the end of the stream, we could go and upgrade a gold tool. Most new seeds don't appear in your two. Oh! I'm definitely playing second in game year to experiment leftovers I haven't done. So there are new seeds in the second year. That is nice. I did not know that. Yeah, you can definitely like finish the story and most stuff in the first year though. You said you were at 295 hours or something. How are you at 295 hours? And you're just in the second year. How did you do that? Do you like restart a day if you're not, if like, how, how do you get that many hours? I mean, you're one still. How do you play 300 hours? Because I'm at the end of summer and I'm at 25 hours. I experimented a lot of things. I see. Yeah, that's a lot of experiments. <laughs> that's a lot of experiments. Try quickly to get something good. Alright, let's sleep. They have new seeds in the second year. They also have dedicated cutscenes in their second year, so it's still rewarding playing after the story and the Oh that's nice to see there's still new cutscenes. Yeah, it's nice that they keep some stuff like behind the certain time frame, right? So you don't you don't experience everything too quickly. Alright, let's go home and sleep. I could take a nap and go back to mining too, but... I want to see what autumn looks like. Gotta pick up those flowers. Lots of like flowers and stuff are used. Oh, I missed one. Lots of these flowers are used for like furniture and stuff to decorate your farm. Another thing I never use the napping feature during my experiment. Yeah, that does make... It's true that I'm skipping a lot of stuff with the... by taking naps, right? And like going going to bed at 5 p.m. Alright, first day of fall. Let's see how things look. Oh, I made 15,000. Oh my gosh, I made so much more money than I thought. I made so much more money than I thought. Changing season. Fall is usually my favorite season in most games. Oh yeah, we're gonna get new music too. Oh, last time we all picked a date to hang out. What should we do on this month and on what date? Oh yeah. Uh, let's do on the fourth hangout date. Yeah, I forgot about that. You get like little events where you hang out with your friends. I love fall and farm games because the colors of the crops are so beautiful. Exactly, the color of the crops, the grass. And like usually, 
like spring and summer often look very similar so it like fall is like when it starts really looking different look at that it's all yellow I'm just gonna save. Wait. Oops. I'm just gonna save it here and I just wanna like walk around. Maybe we can take our horse. Cookie. My 295 hours on this is mainly because I experiment a lot of things. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Looks a little bit silly with my bee, <laughs> with my bee outfit, but such a nice scenery. Yeah, look at those trees. We got red, orange. There's gonna be a bunch. I'm gonna have to buy buy new seeds. There's there's some mushrooms. So many new things to do. Yeah, next time I play, I'm gonna prepare, do our fall stuff, plant everything. You. You. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I forgot about that view. Yeah, that is also really nice. Honestly, such a beautiful game. Such an underrated game, too. Gorgeous game, yes. Then the town has so much, so much nature, so much greenery. Yeah. Well, guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. That's been a pretty fun stream. Um, if you wanna stay tuned for the stream schedule for next year, I mean next week, uh, check the link to Discord in the description and probably later today or tomorrow I'm gonna post the stream streaming schedule for next week So please check that out Thank you again um, to our new subs um, New subs on Twitch and Our new member on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting the channel uh, thank you for leaving a like on YouTube, following on Twitch, subscribing on YouTube, all of that. Oh yeah, some of our crops died. Yeah, it's been a really fun stream, so if you don't know, every Saturday I play, it's Story of Seasons Saturday, so I play a different Story of Seasons game. Um, so I don't know which one I'm gonna play next week, maybe we can play that again, or maybe we can play something different. And then the other days of the week I play a bunch of different farming games, so... Yeah, thank you, Josh. Have a nice chat. Have a nice day, chat. Yeah, Jill, have a nice day. Have a nice day. And yeah. That is going to be pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.